Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is Zach with Zach Attack Cards, bringing you opening day of 2023 Tops Series 2. We have a hobby box on deck and three jumbo packs. Could not bring myself to pay the extra, you know, money for a jumbo, especially when it seems like the hobbies are actually quite loaded. So, I mean, that's what we're going to kind of test here today. I uh, wanted to grab at least a few of the jumbos just to see what's in them. Maybe take a chance at getting one of the guaranteed um, hits. You know, you get three guaranteed hits, one manufactured relic, one, I guess, game used relic, and one autograph. So maybe there's a chance we nailed one. I picked up three because generally you're going to get one in three packs. You definitely get one in four, but... These were about $24 each. I didn't really feel like spending $100 for just the four packs, especially when the hobby box that you see to your left here only costed me a total of $80. So I did pick up another hobby box. So we'll see what the response is to this video. I'd love to do a, a follow-up and open some more. But for now, let's get into the jumbos. The odds are not here yet again. So... I think that tells you all you need to know. It does seem like the print runs are print runs are a bit lower, but that's still relatively unsubstantiated. <clears throat> Once again, maybe there is a difference between the hobby run and the retail run. We'll have to see when retail hits the shelves, and we can do a deeper dive into that kind. So you get your forty-four cards per pack. Let's see if we can hit anything. Definitely want to see if we can build the set. Kicking things off. We're going to go a bit slow because, you know, it's a brand new release. It's opening day. It's, it's you know, it's my favorite type of day. A brand new Tops release. At least the Tops flagship has long been one of my favorites. Isaiah Pineda, rookie. Tons of good stuff to look for in these guys. Tons of good rookies to look for, for sure. And here's one right now, Garrett Mitchell. He's doing a decent job. So it's it's this could be the strongest year for rookies, especially if uh, Ellie De La Cruz ends up finding his way into update. I think if I'm if I'm tops, I'm holding off on that. I feel like putting him in series one would be much smarter. I feel like a lot of people are still going to buy update even to get the rookie debuts. Josh Jung, there's another one. Another good one, Isbell. We got Jake McCarthy, Future Stars. So we'll pop him over here. Jan Gomes. Got Chad Pinder. And there's Francisco Alvarez. Arguably, probably top three somewhere in that range of the rookies. There's a rookie cup for Strider. Definitely deserves it. Guy is a beast. Travis Darno. We got Joey Gallo. Gabriel Arias. We have our flipped over card of Lord Goriel Jr. And it is a silver foil, rainbow foil, what have you. We have a doubles. I guess this is probably the non numbered blue, right? Yep. So, blue parallel of the really cool Tops All Star, 35 years of Tops. Uh, we'll put them there. Salvi Perez, for those that don't know. World Baseball Classic is an insert for this set. Stan Musial. And doesn't seem to be any hits in the first pack. So, Abisael Garcia. Ezekiel Tovar. We got Rowdy Tellez. Joey Manessis. Really cool action shot. Alexis Diaz. Wilmer Flores. Jose Buto. Not familiar with that one. Connor Joe, Nelly Cruz, Josh Harrison, Nathan Ivaldi, and JD Martinez, followed by Will Benson, Michael Lorenzen. Definitely looking for Jordan Walker. He's going to be another one of the top three guys that you're after. Valdez, and there's Jordan Walker. Very nice. Looks to be centered up pretty good, so quite nice. Miguel Rojas. We have Spencer Steer and Brian De La Cruz. So, I mean, 
if you're going parallel hunting, you definitely want, you know, Alvarez, Walker. Uh, you know, Young would be another nice one. James Outman, I do believe, is in here. Definitely a strong rookie class uh, for, the, for this entire year. That's That should be no surprise to anybody, especially when you look at what the quote-unquote baby birds are doing for my Baltimore Orioles. And D-backs rattle off win. Andrew Vaughn. We have Connor Capel. Austin Nola. Unfortunately, they're going to continue to flip on me. Arroyo. We got Keller. Rookie of Xavion Curry. TJ Friedel. Joey Bart. Akil Badu. Marcus Simeon. Still liking this, this setup, you know, the smaller picture and the team name in the lower left. I just Garrett Mitchell. Wow, so we already got a, some duplicates between the first two backs. Hedges, Castro, we got Cole Calhoun, Austin Voth for my O's, Jackie Bradley Jr., and we have a Michael Brantley, and this is one of the Gold Star foils. So the, those are exclusive to the fat packs here. We got an auto. We got the auto. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Yonor Diaz. That's awesome. We nailed the auto out of the box. The box was freshly opened. So I knew all the hits were in there. But I honestly think I only took like the top three packs on the one side. So nailing the auto i mean the last time we did this like i said i think i got the manufactured patch so tops being tops being pretty nice this time giving me the auto you know definitely could have hoped for a different name but hey rookie auto i'll take it and we have significant statistics of corbin carroll that's right he's another guy that you're gonna find in here cody bellinger Martin Maldonado, got Goriel, Winch, Lars Newtbar gets the future star designation. Good for you, Lars. That is awesome. Will Smith, MJ Melendez, another team that going to be very dangerous in the future, I think, just like my Orioles. I think it, the Royals can keep their team together. They're so young. They're mostly homegrown, which is insane. But they're definitely going to make some some noise for years to come. Zach Plesak. And we have Trey Turner, who's definitely been struggling since the World Baseball Classic. I'm sure he'll pick it up and probably have a, a standard year. Oswaldo Cabrera, guy who... I don't watch a ton of Yankees games for being in the area. Um, to be fair, a lot of them are blacked out. Um, but every time I watch, the guy seems to hit a darn dinger so <laughs> oscar colas another nice rookie all right so we're knocking them off the list here pretty early so we'll have a little less to go searching for in the hobby box last pack for the jumbos and i couldn't be more pleased like it, it really doesn't matter what comes out of here at this point we did end up picking up the auto so don't see anything too thick so i don't think we've gotten Another of the hits. So, Bubba Thompson, Dansby Swanson, Jamison Tyon. Again, already got some repeats here. So, we're just going to fly through these. There's Lindor, Brian Anderson. Thought for a minute we had gotten even more duplicates. Austin Barnes, Josh Young, another duplicate, but a good one to have. Uh, Isbell, McCarthy, Jan Gomes. We got Max Muncy. Man, every other card. Yohan Moncada. Got Will Myers. There's Taron Vavra. Awesome. His standard rookie. He's had some trouble staying up with the big clubs. So Felix Bautista. There we go. Our big closer. Huglin. Hug. Huglin. <laughs> Hugging Hadley Rushman, it looks like. But Vavra, yeah, he's, he's had his struggles. So it's, uh, we'll see if he's a team or a guy who will end up helping the team in the years to come and we got an oriole keegan aiken i'll take it another ra uh, rainbow foil and anthony rizzo out of 2023 so that's a nice gold card to get we have our world baseball classic jeremy pena 
We got Bo Jackson in the All-Star. That's awesome. Bo knows everything. Ezekiel Tovar. Telez. Seeing again a lot of duplicates here. So we'll just move right through. Unfortunately, have to spin them around. For those that don't know, it's a 330 card set again. That's pretty much been the standard now for a number of years. Each each flagship set that comes out, Series 1, Series 2 update, tend to be 300 cards, or 330 cards. Yeah, a number of duplicates. I'm very surprised to see in the first three packs that we got out of the... There's Kodai Senga. Out of the Jumbo Box. Dylan Carlson... Lori Garcia, Dane Dunning, Ramber Valdez, which means another Jordan Walker. We'll take that gladly and move right along. So, not bad. Really not bad at all. Uh, again, got the auto, the Honor Diaz. So, if we end up not getting an auto out of the hobby box, not a huge loss, I suppose. And I believe in Series 1, they did turn up the... And we'll have to see if it stays the same for Series 2, but I believe they did turn up the odds on getting an auto. I was hearing from different people, though I didn't open one myself because the Jumbo basically gave me the whole set. Um, the odds of pulling an auto seem to be like 1 in 3, which was pretty good. I mean, I know from past years, you never get a darn... Like, you, <laughs> you'd be lucky to, you know even sniff one in you know five six boxes so there's our silver pack those are going for a pretty penny on ebay i think i saw them for about twenty dollars 19.99 buy it now is about the cheapest i saw so maybe there's something to those that i'm missing but i mean obviously you can't get your autos you can get your number cards etc etc but I just don't see any reason that you're going to want to pay $5 per card. You only get four cards in there. But let's move right into the hobby then. As we are, oh, oh, whack the camera. My bad. So, move right along. See if we can get some different players. And we do start off with some different players. Bo Naylor. We got Bregman. Caratini. There's James Altman. First time seeing his card, quite nice. Jose Miranda gets a future stars. I'm just gonna put our auto over here so that it's kind of out of the way. Justin Turner, Royce Lewis gets a future stars. Jesus Aguilar, he's been floating from club to club. He spent some time with my O's late last year. Michael Ciani, we got Miles Straw, Oscar Colas, rookie, and David Fletcher. Aaron Judge, a cover boy for Series 2. I still am on the fence about him being the MVP last year. I still think Shohei Otani, who's always... I mean, he, <laughs> guy is an absolute generational talent. So it's just... It seems to me like you have to pick more apart on him to give an award to a guy like Aaron Judge. When... There's Vientos, first time seeing him. It just seems like he should have given it to show. I mean, the, guy, the guy's going to give you double-digit wins every year. He's going to he's gonna hit 30 homers probably every year. So it's just crazy to me. And we got our first parallel out of 199, Bo Bichette. Guy that is a hitting machine. So that's really cool. Picked up a number of his rookies for cheap. Uh, just a, maybe two years ago, something like that. Really, like 10 of his rookies were got for like a dollar a piece. So that's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and get that protected up real quick. But yeah, from what I'm seeing, again, we'll try to prove it here. The, and that's out of 199 there. The color, you know, the, the parallels seem to be coming out of the hobby boxes in a much greater clip than they do anything else. Though there's also a rumor that the retail offerings, the blaster boxes, are going to be much better for this release than they were in the, for series one, obviously. They were absolutely miserable. Trout and Vlad Jr., that's cool. 
They were absolutely miserable for Series 1. If you if you didn't buy them, you were probably smart. I know I bought a couple of them just to just to have a little bit of content and yeah, they were they were terrible. Superstar infielders chat pregame. Got to love cards like that. That's how they get guys from Series 1 into Series 2. <laughs> Obviously, nobody has a, a, a standard card in every set. Lou Gehrig, nice insert. Uh, Taylor Hearn, Jose Abreu, Lane Thomas, and finishing on Jeremy Pena. All right. It's a really cool action shot. Got the oven mitt on there. Try to kind of fly through these packs so we don't have a super long video here. We got Luke Voigt. Drew Rasmussen, Ahmed Rosario, Josh Hader in his Padres Uni, Bailey Falter, we got Robinson Chirinos for my O's, Gene Segura, we got, there we go, Yonder Diaz, the guy I pulled the auto of, Alejandro Kirk, Michael Kopech, Evan Longoria, and hey, that's cool. Baltimore outfielders celebrate the win. Austin Hayes, very nice. Team's still hanging in there. I really expected Baltimore to start to falter, you know, sooner than the All-Star break for sure. But they are hanging in there, trying to, just trying to make up a game or two here and there on the Rays that are really still hanging in there. I mean, geez, they are an incredible surprise, as are the Rangers. I don't think anybody really picked them to be as good as they are. Miles Mastroboni, interesting. We got Suarez, we got Bassett, we got Puerto Rico, Javi Baez for the World Baseball Classic. Charlie Blackman, Miles Mikolas, and Donnie Sands. Rook. So definitely inserts and stuff like that come a lot slower when it comes to the hobby packs. There's just less cards. Velasquez, Nemo, got Brendan Davis. Frankie Lindor, oh, Francisco, apologies. We got Joe Ryan, surprised he didn't get any kind of designation. Simeon Woods Richardson, Shohei Otani, there he is, awesome. And Carlos Correa, Stone Garrett, Dansby Swanson. We got Jose Trevino for the Yankees. We got teammates celebrate the win. The San Diego card and Chris Sale. Which I think are all cards we've seen already. Moving right along. Robles. Bueller. Here's Corbin Carroll's rookie. Very nice. Jesus Lazardo. Ford Proctor. That's an interesting one. Bo Bichette, standard card. Kirilov. We got Jordan Groshans. P.J. Higgins got ourselves a number 499 Ford Proctor. There we go. Adam Frazier, Trey Turner, Connor Joe, and Nelly Cruz. Wow, just blasting the camera. Apologies for that. Hopefully I didn't, uh, if you're watching this bad boy in virtual reality, that's going to make you sick. <laughs> Not bad. So a couple colors so far. Now we are back to business. All right, let's see how this pack kicks off. David Hensley, Carson Kelly, DJ LeMahieu, Will Brennan. We have Emmanuel Rivera. Gabriel Arias, Eugenio Suarez, Casey Mize, Isaac Paredes, Cutter Crawford, great name for a pitcher, Trace Thompson, we have Zach Plesak, the future star of Nick Lodolo, for sure, and Andrew Heaney. Nick Lodolo, I'm pretty sure, is already quite the star. I mean, he's definitely still ascending, but... Kid is one excellent pitcher. We got Igai Rosario, or however you might say that. 
We have Justin Verlander, Nick Gordon, Charles LeBlanc, Reed Detmers, Satsugo, Carlos Perez, Nick Senzel, Kyle Freeland, we got Miguel Vargas, rookie, 1988, Harrison Evaldi, Martinez, and Benson. Benson's a rookie. So looking like we're getting close to halfway through the hobby box. Nothing big, a couple numbered cards. Haven't gotten our hit yet. I imagine that will be coming up. Savian Curry, we got Levon Soto, a couple of rookies. Darno, Pinder, uh, Hayden Wisniewski, Joe Adele, and we got the Relic, and it is Aaron Nola. 1988 style. So, see what I mean? Most of the time, this is what you're going to end up getting. This isn't even numbered, unfortunately. And the memorabilia on this is not from any specific game, event, or season. So, certain possibility that he may not have even touched it. But, who knows? Uh, Zach Gallon, Adam Adovino, uh, Louis Verlard, or Varland, and Austin Riley. Getting ourselves uh, too many base cards here again. Just keep moving them around. For those wondering, obviously I will protect the relic after the video. I don't have any of the thick sleeves next to me. Though I suppose I should, considering that's what you're typically gonna get out of these. Once again, if I open the second one, Maybe I'll remember to <laughs> grab them and put them next to me. Arenado, Jace Peterson, and Wall the Chuck. We got Mike Trout in the World Baseball Classic. And if only you could have gotten a hit off your teammate, man. Jorge Polanco, Cabrera. Uh, we got Waka and Reynolds, who started off the season hot, but it certainly cooled down a bit. So definitely going to be a longer video for those that have stuck around this far. I do appreciate you. Kind of figured that, Garrett Mitchell, when I grabbed the jumbo packs, but certainly didn't want to just kind of stick them in their own video. Cause didn't think it was going to be, you know, a decent enough length. Thought it would only be a few minutes. Alex Bregman to 2023. So we got ourselves a gold numbered card now. Kodai Senga, Aaron Savale, Dylan Carlson. And Lori Garcia. So three numbered cards next to the relic. And the relic was not numbered, so I guess we could have counted it if it was. Austin Barnes, we got Josh Young again. I think that's number three. Got McCarthy. Starting to see the collation here. Daniel Bard flipped upside down. Rainbow foil. Decent number of those so far. Hunter Brown, this kid is killing it for the Astros. Got Dane Dunning, Valdez, which means another Jordan Walker. Again, we'll take that for certain. And Rojas. And we got Wilson, Houston Al Diaz, Ranger Suarez, Bobby Dalbeck. Javier Assad, Alfonso Rivas, Jerickson Profar, Nate Eaton, Hunter Strickland, Matt Carpenter, still with the epic stash, now hanging out in San Diego, Spencer Steer, De La Cruz, we got D.L. Hall again, and Luis Renjifo. Absolutely loving it. So what do we have next, right? I guess Chrome is probably the next big release, right? But probably not going to see that show up much before the end of the summer, if not later. And then you got Update, not too long after that. And really, that's the end of your year. Your year. Some stuff in between there, obviously. I mean, Tops, Tops puts out a ton of stuff. You're still going to expect Panini to put out their stuff, even without the autos, and or even without the 
Licensing is the term I'm looking for. Tom Glavin for the All Aces set. That's such a cool set. Edwin Diaz, Logan O'Hope, Dalton Varsho, and John Carlos Stanton looking like he needs a hug. But those are the big releases that have yet to come out. So, Kyle Hishigayoka, I think, something like that. Enrique Hernandez, we got Matt Walner, uh, David Bednar, moving to Alec Manoa, a small pack, they flip them around that many times, Jonathan India, Chris Taylor, Spencer Torkelson gets the future stars, that's pretty surprising, considering. Significant statistics, Acuna, Alec Burleson, Andrew McCutcheon, Tyler Freeman, and Wilson Contreras. He had a big three from last year. Definitely not as impressive this year. I mean, to be fair, Torkelson struggled last year. And he's still kind of struggling. J-Rod and Bobby Witt are just kind of borderline average or so this year. You know, maybe slightly above average in the term of, or for uh, J-Rod. Harrison Bader. It's awesome. Looking mad at the world. Joey Gallo. Frankie Alvarez, Luis, Elias Diaz, Dakota Hudson, Rafael Ortega, Rodolfo Castro, Tommy Henry, Colin McHugh, and Cole Irvin from my O's. The rookie pile starting to get a little large, so maybe we should move that on out. Start fresh. Starting with Jordan Diaz, rookie. Spencer Watkins for my O's. We got Schwarber. Luis Liberato, or Liberato, maybe. Drew Smiley. Kevin Newman. I haven't seen a lot of these guys play yet. We got Kerry Carpenter. Ramon Urias for my O's. Castellanos. Juan Soto on the insert. We have Dalton Guthrie. Matt Olson. Luis Severino and Dre Jameson. We've got half a dozen packs or so to go. And then we'll get you on out of here. Kind of wrap things up and, and see what the hobby gives us. And like I said, certainly let me know what you think. If you think this is greater than previous years. Like I said, that's the main reason I ended up picking up two. Austin Hayes, awesome action shot. And I'll certainly be opening the other one on the channel sooner rather than later. Jonathan Heasley, Rose Arena, Jonathan Scope, and Alice Garcia, Martin Maldonado, Lorenzen, there's Masataka Yoshida for the Red Sox, Estuary Ruiz, and Colin Moran. For those wondering, hobby packs seem to be going for about five bucks per pack. And the jumbos are going for about 24, 25, up to 30 that I've seen. So definitely, you take your chances on those. You definitely have a higher chance of getting one of the hits. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's quite a bit of money to pay for a pack of cards where it's not really guaranteed. Corbin Carroll, what do we got here? Rainbow Foil, Corbin Carroll. That's a heck of a hit there. Very nice. And we have Michael Harris the second showing up in Favorite Son. I don't, I don't even know what that is, but that's a really cool one. America's Favorite Sons, I guess, or, or I don't know, Jordan. George's favorite son? I don't know. That's a very interesting card there. Kluber. We got Brendan Donovan. Again, that's how you get the rookies from the first set in here. Oh, and Volpe. Forgot about him as well. Would have been nicer if the Carol was numbered, but hey, I will take at least a parallel. Louis Goriel, 
Calvin Biggio gets a card again. Man. Almost done here. Melendez. We got Tovar. Telez. We got our pick a game to win. Acuna. That's a good one. We got Terang. Shintaro Fujinami. Ryan Tapera. And Logan Webb. Three packs to go. And we get to the silver pack. And we're done. And maybe we'll just open the last few packs. Our Mega Rip style. Now we can just get through them nice and quick. And we'll open the silver. We'll get you guys on out of here just to have over 30 minutes. And I will try to stop hitting the camera because I have no idea why that's become a thing today. But again, do apologize. All right. Kicking it off with Zach Greinke, like a likely future Hall of Famer. I don't know why I stood that there. Contreras. Soler. Michael Toglia. Freddy Peralta. And of course, just going to have to keep flipping them. Got Manessas. Alexis Diaz. Flores. Mookie Betts for the All-Star card. Those are cool, man. I like those. I remember when I was a kid. Rays team card. Got a Twins team card. Got a Reds team card. We got a White Sox team card. Drew Waters rookie. Moustakas. J.D. Davis. Lynn Peterson. Moncada. Myers. Got Vavra again. I'll take that. Definitely. Bautista. Definitely take that. We got Wheeler, we got Keegan Aiken, Craig Kimbrell, another guy climbing up the saves list. Brewers, we got Walk Off in Wisconsin, D backs, Andrew Vaughn, Austin Nola, Connor Capel, Ryan Creedler, Morton, Allen, we got Nelson for the rookie, Strider, we got the Netherlands, Jerks and Profar for the WBC, Daniel Bard. Alec Thomas, and, ooh, nice San Diego card. Slam Diego adds Soto. And, uh, yeah, so, silver pack to go. So, three numbered cards plus the hit. I mean, I wouldn't say that that's super out of the ordinary, but perhaps. And here comes the silver pack. Can get autos, can get color. Let's see. Carlos Rodon kicking things off. A guy who has not even played yet. <laughs> Kodai Senga, there's a very nice rookie. Got Kyle Tucker for the Strohs. And our last one is turned over. It is Shane McClanahan, number two. Is that 150? Shane McClanahan, 150. That is awesome. Trading card day is 8523, for those who don't know. So that one's really nice. Numbers. Can't tell if it's six or eight. To get the old magnifying glass out when it's all said and done here. But there we go. So not too bad. Ended up, I mean, if you count this guy, got four numbered cards out of the entire box. So maybe that's, uh, you know, a bit more than usual. I can't say that, I can't say for a fact that it is. I would think to myself that that's, Hopefully expected, but there again, maybe I'm just a wishful thinker. Uh, but yeah, the patch, that's relatively expected. Everything else is just, uh, you know, I think the inserts were nice. Nothing super out of the ordinary. And that'll do it. I mean, uh, definitely recommend picking it up. As far as which one to go for, I think it's completely up to you. You're going to get the same cards, obviously. It's just a matter of, do you want to pay... I think jumbos are going for like two fifteen right now. If you're if you're lucky, you might be able to find somebody selling it for like two oh five, something like that. Uh, haven't checked eBay, but hobby boxes are generally under a hundred still. Um, don't know if they'll be too prevalent at the eighty dollars that I paid, but if you can get them at that, definitely. 
And hey, check back. We'll definitely have a retail video and you can make your decision based on that. Maybe you want to go pure retail if it's really as good as the rumors are suggesting. So with that said, I'll get you out of here. Sorry for the long video, but do appreciate those that stuck around, checked out the whole thing. Head down below, hit that little subscribe button, hit the like while you're there. Leave me a comment. Let me know how excited you are for Top Series 2. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.